Hey everyone, it's Jamie from Best Nerd Life. Recently, I've been on eBay a whole bunch trying to look for some really good deals, and I've managed to find one. As I was scrolling down the page, I managed to find this super duper cheap Dell Inspiron 531 PC that basically looked pretty much intact. So yeah, of course I bought it. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to be basically fixing it. I'm going to take it apart, I'm going to clean it, I'm going to put in new hardware, and I'm going to install a new operating system. With that being said, let's get going. And yeah, this is my Dell Inspiron 531. Genuinely can't believe this only cost me £20. Now in terms of the internals, I do know that there are things missing. Uh, I do know that it's very old. I know that it definitely needs a clean inside, but there is quite a bit inside that is worth looking at. But before we do that, let's just have a quick look around the outside and see how it is. One thing that I have noticed straight away is that some of the protective like plastic bits that you get with a new computer haven't actually been peeled off, so I'm gonna do that. <laughs> look at that. That's crazy, can't believe it. <laughs> Uh, there's a bit of gunk there, uh, there's some scratches down here, all that kind of stuff, but overall it is quite a nice looking machine. On the side, it's slightly yellowed here, um, but again, I can potentially clean that if I want to. This side here is mostly fine, there isn't really much damage to it, it could do with a bit of clean. Uh, on the back here, um, there's some dust obviously. There's an antennae which seems pretty bad to be honest. Um, I could potentially do with replacing that. Now unfortunately on this side th there is a little more damage. Uh, I've noticed that it is slightly indented here. There is quite a lot of gunk here and down here which I think... Yeah I mean I'm just, I'm just kind of getting it off with my finger so that'll be easily cleanable. Um, but other than that, outside, apart from being a little bit dusty, in here for example, it's not too bad. I've just noticed as well there's only one thumb screw. It's pretty decent, I really like the design, the white and cream and kind of silver sort of thing. I think it's a really nice looking machine. I'm just going to try and zoom in a little bit. Straight away I notice that there is no hard drive, I think this was the thing the seller mentioned, but everything else seems to be in there. First I think I'm going to take this front panel off, that should be very easy. Oh yeah, look at that. Absolutely tons of dust to be cleaned. DVD rewriter. And this is a DVD ROM drive. Let's take some wires out. and get a close-up of that. Very, very gunky. Look at that. That is horrific. Well, I'll be getting that cleaned off. That is the cooling system. Nice large amount of uh, thermal paste on there. That's nice and caked on. And this is an AMD Athlon. 64 dual core, I believe, in 2005. So this board has space for four sticks of RAM and they all look to be cr 
crucial one gigabyte 240 pin DDR2 RAM. Now I imagine that is probably the highest amount of RAM this thing can take. Now I'm not entirely sure about the make of this. Is it C R U C U S? I don't know. <laughs> but it is model number M2N61AX. It seems to be in okay working order and I did not know this when I bought it, but it does actually have a floppy port. Very, very interesting. I wonder if I can somehow put one in here. I shall see. I shall see. But yeah, I'm going to clean this out. I'm not going to show it because it's just going to be me cleaning this out. <laughs> But yeah, I'll come back when all this has been cleaned and I'm putting it back together. So yeah, I've cleaned this thing, I've put it back together, although there are a few things I've kept out. I've taken away the Wi-Fi card, I've also kept this out because I'm going to replace it with a floppy drive, although I will keep this because it'll be super useful and helpful to have. Before I put new things in, I'm just going to turn it on and see what happens. Okay, it seems to be shorting out. Okay, I have a feeling there's something to do with the CPU because every time I turn, try and turn it on with the CPU power plugged in, it shorts out. So yeah, I'm back. Now I was right in thinking that there was something wrong with the CPU. I basically just had to reseat it, which means I just took it out, put it back in, made sure that it was sitting correctly in its cradle. So yeah, straight away you can see that it's not shorting out. Now weirdly, it does that. <laughs> the fan speeds up a lot, just as it's about to boot. And yeah, it gets to this screen. Um, and that is because there is no hard drive in there, or basically anything for it to boot off. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this Mac Store 320 gigabyte hard drive and stick it in there. This thing is from the Dell Optiplex GX520 that I tinkered around with a few weeks ago. Basically I'm just going to strip all the parts that I need from that machine and plonk them in this one because to be honest that old Dell Optiplex just isn't what I want. I can't even put a floppy drive in there even though it does have a slot. It just doesn't fit in with the power supply that I have here, it just won't fit in. So, it, yeah, I, I'm gonna scrap that thing and put everything I can into this. And yeah, I'm also going to put this floppy drive in that I got from the Optiplex uh, because it has a slot, it has a power connector, a data connector, all the stuff that I need for this to be plugged in. Ooh. My floppy drive has just kicked in. Interesting. This, I think. Boot from CD. Hey, Windows setup. Nice. So I'm not going to film this, um, <laughs> but. I'm going to start filming again when this thing has loaded. See you in a bit. So Windows Movie Maker. Windows Movie Maker cannot be used because the required audio hardware cannot be found on your computer. So it doesn't have any audio. But that's fine. I've got a sound card which I hopefully can pair with this machine. But in the meantime what I'm going to do is install some games. So I'm going to be putting Heads, Head Extreme Destruction Zone on this PC because I'm pretty sure it will work on this. So now that top one works, well, let's see if this one here works. I'm sure it will. I'm also, just for 
the lols, I'm going to be putting this floppy disk, Mystic Towers, if you can see that. Mystic Towers into this disk drive and hopefully it works both the disk drive and the floppy disk because I've never actually tried this before okay so it is not reading that disk so I've got a feeling like that doesn't work anymore that's a shame. Let's try some more. Now that Heads is installed, let's have a look if it will actually run. Okay, so we're on to the main screen. And it's working. <laughs> oh man, this is a blast from a past. I've got to say, this is one of the like first PC games that I remember having. But yeah, that works. Nice. Okay, so I know that both of these drives work. I know that floppy drive works. It's just a matter of finding some floppy disks that actually work, hopefully, possibly. So yeah. Let's see if any of these work. So that is definitely reading it. Now I'm not so much looking for games to play on this, I'm more just looking to see if it's detecting it, because you know it could be detecting the floppy drive itself, but the reader inside might not be working or something like that. You know, I'm just trying to find something wrong with it but it seems fine and and yeah um, so Wacky Wheels is definitely being read which is great so this is an MS-DOS game so I might be getting DOSBox or something like that on here to play that but again at the moment I'm just looking for things for it to detect Captain Planet and the Planeteers. This is a Commodore Amiga game, but I assume it will read it, maybe? I don't know. Let's have a go. This is like my first time with floppy disks in literal years. So this is great. I'm loving it. Potentially does not work. Monster Grand Slam. I've never heard of the game until the other day when I got it sent to me. But yeah. Fields of Glory or Fog. I'm not having much luck with these, am I? Sweet. So Fields of Glory actually seems to be working. Number four, and hopefully the last one does work as well. And it does, that is absolutely fantastic. So I know now that some of my floppy disks work, which is positive. Yeah, I'm very, very happy with how this has turned out, especially for the price that I paid for it. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, I'm going to be doing more videos with this machine. This machine is going to be my like retro kind of PC game, uh, MS-DOS games, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to figure out how to put the sound card in, I'm going to figure out how to record from this thing, and yeah, I'll see what happens with it. In any case, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, by all means, like, comment, subscribe, all that social media goodness, as always. Thanks for your time, and keep living that best nerd life.